Assalamu alaikum students. How are you? I hope all of you are very fine. Welcome to my science class. I am your science teacher, Saida Sultana. Recently, you have completed your online half yearly assessment. From today, we will start our final term syllabus. Today, I will discuss a new chapter, chapter 4, Morphology of Plant. We have already learned about the characteristics and classification of plants. You have also learned that higher plants can be divided into two types such as gymnosperms and angiosperms. In this chapter 4, we will learn about the external features of angiosperms, considering them as the ideal plants. We will also learn about the location of different parts of a flower ring plants. Have a look on this picture. This picture is showing you the different parts of a ideal plant. Typical plant can be divided into two major parts. One is root and another is the shoot. Roots are usually underground and the part we see above the ground is called shoot. Shoot consists of stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. At first, let's discuss about the stem. Stem is a stalk of the plant. It helps the plant to stand upright. Stem bears the weight of leaves and branches. It is generally old when young and later often become dark brown. The stem carries water and minerals from the roots to the leaves and carries food prepared by the leaves to take different parts of the plant. This animated picture is showing you the movement of minerals and water from root to stem and leaf. Next is leaf. Leaves grow on the stem and branches. They are usually green due to the presence of chlorophyll, which helps them to prepare their own food. Look at the picture. This picture shows you how the plants form their own food by photosynthesis process. Here, carbon dioxide comes from the atmospheric air, water comes from the soil by root through a stem, sunlight, in presence of sunlight, with the help of chlorophyll, leaves can produce their own food as a form of carbohydrate or sugar, and also oxygen gas is released. Leaves have numerous number of numerous stomata. Stomata is a small pore of leaves. Through stomata, plants take in and give out the air. From stomata, carbon dioxide is taken by plant and oxygen and after photosynthesis oxygen and water vapor give out into the air.
Next part is flower. Flowers are the most attractive and reproductive parts of the plant. They come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. By the process of pollination, many flowers develop into delicious fruits which are taken by us. These three pitch images are showing you the process of pollination. Here both self-pollination and the pollination between two different flowers by insects are shown. By the pollination, flowers develop into fruits. After maturity, ovary of the flower turns into fruit and ovule turns into seed. The remaining part of the flower falls off, such as petals. Petals are falls off after converting the ovary into fruit. This red circle is showing you the ovary which converts into fruit. The next one is root. Roots are usually underground but can be above ground too. It has no nodes, internodes and apical part. Roots grow in length only from their ends. Roots usually develop from radical of the seed leaf. Do you have any idea about radical? What is radical? Have a look on these images. Here you can see a dicotyledonous seed. Radical is the first organ to appear when a seed germinates. It grows downward into the soil, anchoring the seedlings. Now let's go for knowing about the parts of a typical root. Now you have the idea about that roots are usually developed from radical of the seed leaf. The radical grows downward into the main root, which is known as primary root. Secondary root originates from primary root. That means secondary roots are the branches of primary root. Similarly, tertiary root originates from the secondary roots. That means tertiary root are the branches of secondary roots. Now I will discuss about the different regions of roots. The roots have four main regions. Mm -hmm. The very tip of the root is covered by a thimble shaped root cap which serves to protect the growing tip as it makes its way through the soil. And the just behind the root cap lies the apical meristem, a tissue of actively dividing cells. The growth in length occurs in that region and this region is known as growth region. The minute hairy region at located the back of the growth region is root hair region. Plant, plant absorbs water and minerals through it from the soil. The next one is the above the elongation zone lies the region of maturation where the primary tissues of the root mature. 
This is also known as permanent region. Next, I will discuss the functions of roots. The primary functions are of root are anchors of the plant. The root anchors the plant firmly to the ground, hence the plant do not bend down readily during strong, strong wind or storm. Another function is the absorption of water and dissolved minerals and conduction of these to the stem. The root functions are also storage of preserved foods. The roots can be mainly divided into two types in terms of their origin and location. The two types of roots are tap root and another is adventitious root. This adventitious root can be classified into another two types. One is fibrous root and another is non-fibrous root. What is tap root? Develops from the radical of the root reacting vertical polymer is called taproot. root. root. Some roots arise from an organ other than the root, usually a stem or sometimes a leaf. That roots are called adventitious root. Now, what is fibrous root? The adventitious root that grow in a cluster from the base of the stem is called fibrous root. And the adventitious root that do not grow in cluster, rather develop separately from one another, is called non-fibrous root. Let's see some examples. Look at this picture. The right one is taproot. The fleshy taproot of a sugar beet develops from the radical of the seed leaf directly as it goes down the ground vertically and the lateral branches grow out of it. The left one is the example of fibrous root. The fibrous roots of grass consist of many branching roots that emerge from the base of the stem and equal in diameter. Here you can see the picture of a banyan tree. This is an example of non-fibrous root. This is also called prop root. The prop root of banyan tree originate from the branches and remain hanging in the air before reaching that soil to support the plant in the soil. That's the end of our today's lesson. Let's take a quick recap. The plants have mainly two parts, root and shoot. Shoot can be divided into four parts, stem, leaf, flower, and fruit. The parts of root, the roots can be classified into four regions, root cap region, growth region, 
Heritage region and permanent region. Then we we have learned about the types of roots. The roots are mainly classified into two groups: tap root and adventitious root. These adventitious roots can be classified into two groups: fibrous root and non-fibrous root. That's the end of our today's class. Thank you for watching my video. And Assalamu Alaikum.